somebody cream pie me, baby. It's SummerSlam. We are here. Just like the last pay-per-view, I am not here right now. I'm actually um, on vacation at SummerSlam myself. <laughs> um, I'll be in Nissan Stadium for SummerSlam uh, tonight. Uh, I'm recording this on June 22nd. So, hello, everybody, on July 30th. Uh, by that point, I'll be 23 years old already. But, hey, we are here, and we're kicking it off with a freaking Intercontinental Championship match. Let's get this thing started. This might go down as the best pay-per-view in World Walker Entertainment history. Man, I am so ready, baby. I'm so ready. What a night we've got for you tonight. We got a Money in the Bank briefcase on the line. We got the Tag Team Championships on the line. A Women's Championship Triple Threat match. We got the WWE Championship on the line against somebody who freaking beat both Tag Team Champions back to back. We got freaking um, an Extreme Rules match. We got, a, we got a Hardcore Championship match. And we're kicking it off with The Rock versus Roman Reigns for the Intercontinental Championship. It was a couple months ago, it was after Walker Mania. On the road to Walker Mania Backlash, Roman Reigns wanted to become a Grand Slam champion. The, he, the, the Rock was the hardcore champion at the time. The Usos, on the same night, beat up The Rock in the beginning. Beat up The Rock um, later on in the night. In that Hardcore Championship match, Roman Reigns took advantage, took the Hardcore Championship off The Rock. We have not seen The Rock since. Roman Reigns at, uh, uh, when was it? <laughs> was it Hell in a Cell? I think it was Hell in a Cell. Defeated Edge for the Intercontinental Championship. He then defended it successfully at Money in the Bank against Isaiah Swerve Scott. But the next night, The Rock came back. And he waited for his opportunity. He wants to do exactly what Roman Reigns did to him. And that is take a championship off of him unprovoked. But the, this time the Rock is provoked. The Usos tried to stop the Rock. This, this was a big thing on uh, the road to, I want to say, uh, Hell in a Cell. Where the Usos took on Edge in a 2-on-1 handicap match. Edge lost that match, but the Rock... Faced the Usos in a 2-on-1 handicap match and beat them. He came back and beat Omos. He's come back and just won and won and won as if he's never lost. Rock has only been pinned by two people in World Walk Entertainment history. In the history of World Walk Entertainment, The Rock has been pinned by two people. One of those is the current WWE Champion AJ Styles. And the second one is this man right here. The Intercontinental Champion Roman Reigns. He knows he's got The Rock's number a little bit. But that's because of the help of the Usos. This time, Roman Reigns is all alone. He's got The Rock to himself. He's got The Rock one-on-one. -on -one. But Rock, who has suffered for so long somebody that defended the hardcore championship every week for months upon months got hit with weapons got hit with everything got hit with finisher after finisher somebody that has been through so much how are you going to keep this man down i personally don't know roman reigns has a better opportunity of doing so than i feel like anybody in world walk entertainment has we're going to find out if Roman Reigns can get that job done tonight. Can Roman Reigns finally put an end to this chapter of him and The Rock? Can The Rock get some revenge finally? Find it in himself to become champion besides the Hardcore Championship. We know he fought for the WWE Championship earlier this year at day one and it hurt him. It hurt him that he didn't beat AJ Styles tonight. It's a different story. The Rock could become the Intercontinental Champion. Let's go to the introductions. Introducing the challenger from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, The Rock! And introducing the champion from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Roman!
Roman Reigns handing off the Intercontinental Championship for what could be the last time. The Rock is ready for, for freaking action, baby. I'm so excited for this. I cannot wait. This referee looks like a freaking chode. Here we go. The bell has rung. And oh my God, Rock with a chop right to the chest and throwing reins against the turnbuckles. This is going to be a very back and forth match, ladies and gentlemen. These two, I don't want to say know each other extremely well, but they definitely uh, have experienced what it's like to be on the receiving end of punishment by the other person. And The Rock taking Reigns down. And for the first time in this match, somebody gets laid out on the ground. This time it was Roman Reigns. Rock goes behind and oh, Reigns meets him with an elbow. Again, I told you there's going to be a lot of back and forth action here. Reigns doesn't really know where he wants to put The Rock. And The Rock taking advantage of that. Several elbows to the gut. And then slamming, oh my god, Roman's face unprotected onto the canvas. He's going to crack his nose right there. And The Rock continuing the assault with a suplex. This is The Rock's first championship match since his last one, which was against Roman Reigns. Oh my god. The Rock is such a tough competitor. He's somebody that is so hard to put down and to keep down. It's kind of insane. The Rock won the Hardcore Championship inside the Elimination Chamber. Which is something I never thought I would say. Oh my god, and Rock with a drop kick right from the top rope and continuing the assault on the Intercontinental Champion. Reigns really needs to pick up the pace here. Because The Rock is on top of this guy like crazy right now. What is this? Oh, Reigns countering. I think Rock tried to go for a submission hold there. And it was reverse. Reigns need to capitalize because Rock was on top for a very, very long time here. The strikes raining in on The Rock now. as he gets him up in the fireman's carry and plants him with a flapjack. Reigns taking advantage of the fact that The Rock's back was to him, though, after that getup. Reigns trying to knock him off the apron. Doesn't succeed in doing so, so he brings it back in. Drapes him over the top rope, and there goes Rock crashing onto the canvas. Oh, my Lord. Cover on The Rock from Roman Reigns. Is that going to be enough to put The Rock away in a kick out? Reigns looks a little surprised there. I, I, I don't think you really have any right to be surprised. That might be a rope break if Rock just literally turns his foot Okay, I guess it, it didn't matter. Rock gets out of it regardless. But Rain still with the advantage over here. Hold on, DDT on the Rock. Rocky back up to his feet, goes for a clothesline. Huge block from Reigns. The Intercontinental Champion taking him again into the same move as before. DDT, it seemed to be effective the first time. It's definitely going to be effective the second time. And now these right hands raining down once again on the Rock. Rock needs to do something here because now it's Reigns on top. Just like The Rock was on top a couple minutes ago. Reigns is borderline bullying his challenger right now. My God. And The Rock finally gets up to his feet. Sweeps the leg of Roman Reigns. I think he got way too cocky there. And returns the favor with some more punch. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you saw it, and I don't, oh, you can definitely see it right now. Roman Reigns is bleeding, and The Rock with more punches just opening up the wound even more. Oh, my Lord. Roman Reigns is bleeding from the head. I don't know what part of his face it is. It might be around his eye, to be, to be honest. I think it is around his eye. Reigns is in panic mode now. You see it right there with a the Superman punch. He got that Superman punch right in, and Reigns going to immediately pick him up. And drops him down. Reigns needs to do something big here. He covers him. That might be a rope break. Oh, my God. The Rock, right before the referee started the count, put, the, put his leg underneath the bottom rope, stopping the count. Is The Rock hurt, though? Has enough punishment been done? I don't know, but a spear, that could be another rope break. Oh, Roman. 
Roman, you're fumbling, dog. Roman, you're fumbling. DDT from The Rock. What is he doing? The Rock is going up to the top rope. Oh, my God. No chance. The cover on Reigns. And a kick out. Man. And Reigns capitalizes back. Oh, oh, goes for another cover. He thinks the damage has already been done. He's desperate to beat The Rock, and The Rock kicks out. Such a desperate cover by the Intercontinental Champion. Such a desperate cover. I, I, I can't believe that. Reigns trying to keep The Rock down. Rock up on his feet. And oh my god. Reigns has turned the aggression up to 100 here. It seems like, like, like the blood really was a motivator for him to be even more angry than before. Rock trying to take advantage, trying to cut Roman Reigns' offense off. Goes for an elbow. He doesn't get it. He still needs to capitalize. Rock turns Roman Reigns around. around and oh my god. Reigns reverses into some sort of a cross body there. Rock with a reversal of his own. Taking Reigns down and going up to the top rope once again. I never see The Rock do this. This is the second time he's done this, this match. Reigns is pretty far there and gets off the, ro the top rope. Reigns tried to counter, or uh, not counter, but block it off, cut it off with a neck breaker. It didn't work. And The Rock opening up that wound even more. Reigns back up on his feet. Oh my God, Rock cut off the other neck breaker attempt. And we got some several atomic drops here. You see the blood starting to pour more and more down The Rock's, uh, the Roman Reigns' face. Oh my lord. Rock is trying to put this in the grave. Can he do it? Rock with a rock bottom. Are we going to see a new Intercontinental Champion? Into the cover. No rope breaks. Is that it? No. Oh, wow. Oh my god. And Reigns still managing to get up to his feet. Again, the shots raining in. These two have so much hatred for each other. I can't believe it. Reigns getting the rock up. He's got to do something big here. Both of these guys. Oh, my God. And the rock once again countering Reigns' offense. There is really no clear-cut guy with any sort of momentum in here. It is all even right now, folks. Rock still taking advantage with these grapples. And an elbow right to the skull. Good lord. Reigns might be hurt. The Rock is taking a Superman punch and a spear, though. So I can't really say for sure. Oh, man. Reigns has not put up that much defense in the last little while. Oh, Rock tried to go for a sharpshooter. The Rock tried to go for a sharpshooter, and Roman Reigns reversed it. That was such a huge reverse from, for, from Reigns. Taking away all the Rock's momentum there. And that could be the beginning of the end for the Rock. It all goes for those hands. And again, Rock counters. This time with elbows. Man, this is a brutal match. This is as hard hitting as I thought it would be. Rock going to the top rope once again. For the third time in this match. And he gets that splash. Another time. Is the Rock going to win the Intercontinental Championship? Oh my, What? That's it. Wow. We only saw like one rock bottom, but th uh, that splash off the top rope. He hit a couple of those. Reigns was, was bleeding very, very badly there. Wow. The Rock has just defeated Roman Reigns. And is the new Intercontinental Champion. My God. Wow. Wow. The Rock is champion. He can't believe it. I can't believe it happened so, uh, to so quickly, I guess. That was a great match, though. Rock earned that. Man. What a way to kick off SummerSlam. We have a new Intercontinental Champion. 
And I know The Rock is not going to let go of that freaking title anytime soon, baby. My lord. Rock proud to be champion. I'm proud of him. Uh, we have an Extreme Rules match up next. We got Liv Morgan, who has taken a weird characteristic turn against Becky Lynch. We'll tell you the story and the entrances up next. Oh, boy. What a way to kick off SummerSlam, dude. We're not done. I don't know why I even said that. We, just, we literally just started. Becky Lynch. And she has been waiting for this match for weeks now. She's going to get her hands on the woman that attacked her several weeks ago. Listen, Liv Morgan at Money in the Bank lost the Women's Championship to the very, very dominant Bailey, who will be defending later tonight. But... Um, Liv Morgan, uh, upon losing the Women's Championship, really fell off the deep end. Uh, she dyed her hair black. She changed her attire a little bit. And then proceeded to fight Shayna Baszler, a woman that she's beaten on t several occasions. And Shayna beat her. Shayna beat Liv Morgan. And, uh, man, I, you know... That really set Liv Morgan off the deep end even more. She attacked Shotzi Blackheart. Shotzi and Liv had a match a couple weeks ago. That was actually a great match. But Becky, she attacked Becky as well during her entrance on the same night. Liv Morgan was attacking everybody. Shotzi and, and, and Becky weren't going to have any of that. Becky Lynch has been on a mission to make Liv, Liv Morgan's life a living hell afterwards. And it's worked. We got an Extreme Rules match now to settle it finally between these two. Oh my god. Morgan's still a little deranged. She's uh, she's got that new look. I mean, listen. Liv did beat Shotzi in a very, very, very competitive match. It, it, you know, Liv and Shotzi gave it their all. Liv Morgan won that match. So she has that old Liv Morgan, the one that made her hold the women's championship for what uh, nine months. It's still in there somewhere. Somewhere. But I don't know, man. Something about it is different. I don't know if it's more if it's more aggressive or if it, if it's just if it was luck against Shotzi. We're gonna find out right now. She goes one on one against Becky Lynch. Extreme rules. Anything goes in this match. This is gonna be insane. Liv can't wait to get her hands on Becky as well. This is going to be nuts. There's going to be balls. This is going to be cock. Here we go. Sorry. Becky sizing up Liv. Here we go. Or square, squaring up to Liv. I don't know. Whatever. Irish whip immediately into the corner. Now, we've seen some Extreme Rules matches in the past. You know, not really need weapons. It's going to be very interesting to see who grabs the first weapon here, if at all. Man, oh man. Becky continuing the assault here. Morgan has had nothing so far. Except now she throws Becky across the, the, flo the mat here. And now it's Morgan on top with the offense. Turns Becky around. Oh, I thought we were going to see an unprettier there, but no, it's a... Oh, my God! <laughs> Becky had no facial protection at all there. She got... Oh, boy. She got bopped. Becky up on her feet. Grabs Morgan. Into a suplex position. Fisherman suplex. She got it. Was she going to go for the cover there? I don't... I'm, it looked like it, but I guess she thought second of it. She, uh, she thought better of it, I guess. Morgan gets it into the corner. Now, again, this is an Extreme Rules match, but Becky literally just wants to inflict as much punishment on Liv Morgan with her hands as much as she can here. Both women sending each other into the corner. Oh, my God. What is Morgan going for here? Oh, my God. That, I mean, she threw her whole body 
at Becky. Live on the top rope now. You got to be kidding. Morgan's still with that competitive spirit, even if it is a little unorthodox, but oh boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Becky going to take advantage. Taking Liv Morgan up, picking her up in the fireman's carry, and Morgan gets out of it. Goes for a slap, and Becky's there to counter as well. My God. Cutting each other off at every point, and a kick out immediately. Liv Morgan is not going to stay down that easily. She's the former women's champion for a reason. She knows exactly what it's like to be in a situation where, you know, she's in trouble. Oh, my God. Becky, manhandle slam. I didn't expect it to happen that fast. She's not done. She's not. She's really trying to put the, the pressure on Morgan. Oh, but that was that was a bad idea. It was a bad idea, Becky Morgan. Oh, my God. Becky's letting her aggression, her, her passion for, for hurting Morgan get the better of her. She could have pinned her right there off the manhandle slam. But now the reality is Liv Morgan's in the ring with a kendo stick. Bailey, oh, Bailey. Becky's still trying to fight back. Morgan picking Lynch up. Oh, man. What is this? No chance. No chance. Oh, Becky reverses the flatliner. Reversal after reversal here from both of these women's finishers. And we got a disarmer. We got a disarmer. It's locked in. Is Liv Morgan going to have it in her to get out of the disarmer here? Man, that arm is being stretched all the way up. Man, oh, man. Liv refusing to quit. And that kendo stick rolls out of the ring. We're going to have to continue this one, folks. Morgan, oh my god, off the ropes. This is how she's won her women's championship in the past. 401 face, 201 face breaker, whatever. Cover on Becky Lynch. Is, is that it? Becky kicks out. What is going to have to happen here? There has not been a single weapon used this whole match. Morgan tried to go for a flatliner once again, and Becky with the reversal. Huge reversal from Lynch. Uh-oh. And once again, goes for the manhandle slam. Oh, Liv, reversing it. you got to be kidding. Off the ropes, Bulldog. I can't believe this. Can you imagine if Liv Morgan beats Becky Lynch after all of the confidence Becky Lynch had in herself to make Liv Morgan's life a living hell? Oh, my God. Morgan finally with a weapon oh, being used, and it's the baseball bat. Good Lord. Oh, my God. How did how is Becky not dead? Good lord! This is getting insane! Morgan up on her feet! Oh! Oh my This baseball bat is being taken to work right now, dude! Holy crap! Oh! Hey! Good lord! Oh my Somebody needs to just stay the hell down! This is brutal. Oh, my. Becky, chill. Becky has so much hatred for Liv Morgan. This is exactly how Liv lost the Women's Championship in the first place. And Becky goes through the disarmer. And Liv reverses. Becky went for the dis That's the second time Liv Morgan reversed the disarmer. And after. Liv oh, my God. Oblivion. Oh, my God. Holy shit. If you remember Money in the Bank, Morgan lost by getting assaulted with every weapon ever multiple times. It was a sledgehammer, I think. And then freaking Liv Morgan got... What is his replay? Morgan got beat. Becky just did the same thing and somehow... Morgan got back up to her feet and and beat Becky Lynch. Morgan not only attacked Shotzi and Becky, she then beat them both. Wow. Morgan. I can't believe that. We got a freaking Money in the Bank match to get up to up next. We'll tell you the story of that right now, actually. Yes, sir. This is going to be very, very interesting. There is that Money in the Bank briefcase hanging from the top. We weren't even supposed to have this match. Cena didn't even ask for this. John Cena took on Damian Priest the night after Money in the Bank 
and Priest won that match. It was fair. It was a fair match. Uh... Cena was a little angry about that, which I get. He then he beat up Damian Priest backstage, which is uncalled for. So we had a rematch. And Cena won that match in about a minute. Then Priest was so angry, he decided to attack John Cena. He said, I was no, this, it was done at that point. I said, listen, we're not doing this anymore. But Priest was so like, oh, no, I, oh, I, oh, I must have this match. This match needs to happen. Blech. It's okay. Well, the only way we're going to do a rematch, we're not just going to have a regular one-on-one -on -one match. We need to up the stakes. The first one was just a normal one-on-one -on -one match. The second one was an Extreme Rules False Anywhere match. This time, it's going to be different. If you really want to fight John Cena again, if you really feel like you need to make the score 2-1, to one, you need to have a ladder match and put that Money in the Bank briefcase on the line against John Cena. Priest, we got our answer last week. Priest is down. He's defending his Money in the Bank briefcase. Which is a stupid idea. I would have just, I would have just not done it. But I mean, what are you gonna do? If you guys remember, last year it was at SummerSlam last year, literally a year ago. Not literally. No, nope, that sentence didn't make any sense. Not literally a year ago. Uh, Liv Morgan was Miss Money in the Bank, and she defended it against her partner Ruby, her, her former partner Ruby Riot, and Ruby won that match. She won. So listen, this is the odds do not look good for Damian Priest. He won the whole Money in the Bank ladder match in the first place, but you know that could all come to an end. And if John Cena wins, if John Cena becomes Mr. Money in the Bank, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. But here we are, I guess. Priest is feeling it. I mean, listen, it, it, it's a one-on-one -on -one match. All you got to do is just climb the ladder and retrieve the briefcase. This is going to be interesting. Here we go. A one-on-one -on -one ladder match and Cena, oh my God, from the jump. Oh no, tries to get a, a hold on Priest, but Priest answers with a chop block to the back of the leg. And all, what the hell was he thinking there? Oh, Cena went for a ladder and Priest, holy crap. Oh my god, Cena wrenching the arm. Or sorry, Priest wrenching the arm of Cena. Cena finally getting up to his feet, sweeping the leg of Damian Priest. And Cena is doing what he was trying to do before. And that's grab a ladder. Priest doesn't really seem too concerned. Oh, no, maybe I spoke too soon. Priest and Cena both grabbing ladders here. Where the hell is Cena going? Cena was going to hit Priest over the head with that freaking ladder. Are you kidding? Okay, well, this match can end a lot quicker than I anticipated it. Anticipated. And Cena getting Priest off that ladder immediately. I don't know why he thought this would be a smart idea. Oh, my God. And Cena from the top of the ladder and a power bomb on Damian Priest. Priest up on his feet now, and oh my god, throws himself at John Cena. Good lord. Off the rope and drops a leg down on Cena. This could be big now. Priest climbing the ladder once again. Cena's down. What are you doing, Priest? Grab the briefcase. Oh my god. Oh my god, Priest. What was the point of that? What was the goal there? Oh my lord. Oh, oh my god, Priest, bro. What are you smoking? What are you smoking, bud? Damien Priest goes down, and the assault from Cena continues. Someone needs to get out of this ring. But Cena is just on top of Priest like freaking, like it's nothing. Good Lord. And Cena going to do what Priest tried to do. And that's grab the briefcase. Priest is down though. Cena really has is unopposed. Here. Oh my God, John. Maybe we're in for a longer ride than I anticipated, folks. Good God. These guys are smoking doinks. 
This is insane. No one's good at grabbing the briefcase. I, I don't understand how that's possible. But hey, Priest sending Cena down and now gets him up on his... Uh-oh. This could be huge. Priest drops Cena. Is he just going to go for it? He might just go for it. Oh, my God. He is just going to go for it. The Reckoning. That's it. If Priest... Why would you grab... What a waste of time. He put in a worse position. Well, nonetheless, Priest is climbing the ladder. And he's got his hand... Oh, Cena's getting up to his feet, though. Priest, again, missing the... Uh-oh. Cena's got to stop him. Cena's... He okay. He got one. Priest still trying to grab that briefcase. And Cena completely cutting him off. Again, grabbing Priest. The current Mr. Money in the Bank. And powerbombing him off the ladder. Cena now on the, on the ladder. Can he take advantage here? Priest getting back up. Cena's really bad at grabbing this briefcase. Good lord. Okay. Sure. I feel like we're just going to see a, 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 a real lot of briefcase grabbing attempts here. Very little progress has been made to get that briefcase off of the top of there. And a priest raining in with the strikes. Cena answers back with, uh, I forgot what he did. <laughs> but here we go, Cena planting priest. That ladder is still in technically perfect position, at least on that side. To go grab the briefcase. I, I don't know if Cena really is going to have enough time here before Priest gets back up to his feet. There you see Damien getting back up. And Cena's got some... Uh-oh. Priest needs to do something big here. Cena's fumbling. Uh-oh. And Cena goes crashing off that ladder. But gets up to his feet. Cena grabbing Priest. We've seen this before. What can he do, though? What can he do? Cena the hell going in for an stf but this is a ladder match this is literally a ladder match i don't see what the point of this is even if priest taps it doesn't matter what what well cena lets him go maybe priest has, has passed out to the pressure or something I, I couldn't tell you oh my god cena oh cena went for the aa and priest counters with a reckoning That is perfect for Damian Priest. He is up on the... No, Damian, what are you doing? It's going to be stuff like this that costs him. Oh, my God. Oh, good Lord. Cena up on his feet. In Zaguri to the face of Damian Priest. Cena trying to come up the ladder again. He's trying to every possible chance. This is Cena's opportunity to really get in WWE Championship contention here once again. Oh, my God. For the third time this year, which would be insane. But Priest can't keep Cena down. Sorry, sorry Cena can't keep Priest down. That ladder is really just... Oh, my God. A third one. A third time reckoning to John Cena. This, oh my god, Priest. <laughs> this really is Damien Priest's opportunity. He's climbing. Cena's down. Uh-oh. Damien Priest. He need. oh my god. He's got one. He's got to get three more, Cena. Oh, Cena, you got to work harder than that. Oh my god. Cena grabs him and power bombs him onto the ladder. Cena has taken multiple finishers this match, but but he is not staying down. I, I in a way, got to respect it. No man has decided to meet the other on top of the ladder. They've just been, no, I got to knock him down just in case. It's a smart strategy, but man, this we're going crazy on top of this ladder. Oh, this is perfect. Priest, why wouldn't you climb the ladder? Nice. <laughs> Cena. 
again, this is a ladder match here. I don't really know what, you know, being outside of the ring helps for. Cena went into the ring. What was, the hell was that? To break a count that didn't exist? What? What are you doing, John? What is the goal there? I guess we'll never know. Cena with the ladder in place, and we're going to climb this thing. No way. Cena just ignoring Priest. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Well, here we go. Cena still. Jeez. Priest trying to take Cena off of his hands off the freaking briefcase. Oh, my God. Cena with a reversal. A right hand. Can Cena take it? No chance. Oh, my God. Cena on with Priest on top of the ladder. Oh, my God. A superplex. Priest is hurt. Priest is hurt. But Cena needs to take advantage now. This is his opportunity. Priest is down. There is literally... What is this? John, what are you doing? He's made the same mistake. Oh, my God. A five-knuckle shuffle from the top of the freaking ladder. Are you smoking doinks? Oh, my God. Oh, what are we saying? What are we saying? Cena on top of the ladder again. And Priest cutting him off. Man. This is insane. What a match this has been so far, but jeez. And for the fourth time, Damian Priest with a reckoning. I can't believe this match. This is like, you're kidding. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Priest, you literally are right there. Grab the freaking briefcase. What was the point of that? And you pick him up? And you grab another ladder? What are you smoking? What are you smoking? You're smoking doinks. And Cena with an attitude adjustment. You're kidding me. Onto the ladder nonetheless. Oh my god. Oh my god. John Cena. Oh, misses. Of course he does. Oh my god. Cena needs two more here. He needs... Oh my god. Damian Priest might be the dumbest superstar in World Walk Entertainment history. He really might be. Wow. What a match this was, though. I mean, it definitely was a very intense match. I just can't believe. <laughs> See this, Mr. Money in the Bank. Wow. That's it. We're not having any more Damian Priest versus John Cena matches. It's done. It's over. Chaboying. It's done. Tag Team Championships on the line. The CWO's first match of the night. It is the Swerve Offs versus the CWO in an Extreme Rules Tornado Tag Team match. Let's get this freaking thing started. This match could change the landscape of World Walker Entertainment. Um, these actually, I mean, these next couple matches that we have here. The Swerve Offs, this is, they finally got their opportunity for the Tag Team Championships. But man, if this could, every match tonight where there's been something on the line, it's changed hands. That has not happened in a while. Oh man, I don't know. The Tag Team Championships have not changed since October. Jeez, jeez, jeez. They are the WWE Tag Team Champions. Kevin Owens and Riddle, the NWO. It was October 21st, 2021, where the CWO 
Kevin Owens, Matt Riddle, and AJ Styles all became champions. They became tag team champions and the WWE champion. Bailey has, you know, come into form lately. She was on a, she's been on a roll though. Her whole freaking stint in the CWL. All four members of the CWO currently are champions. They have taken over World Walk Entertainment. Right now, could change everything. Could this be the final time that we see Matt Riddle and Kevin Owens holding the Tag Team Championships? Oh boy, I don't know, I don't know. This is gonna be insane. We saw the last time it was an Extreme Rules to no Tag Team match. These guys smoked each other. I'm looking forward to this. Here we go, referee rings the bell. How you doing? I'm here to tell you about all of the lovely Things you can get on my merch store. You can get cups, which I don't know why I held my hand up because I don't have a picture of it to show you, but you can see it if you click the link in my description. Shirts, cups, uh, bags, phone cases, maybe. I don't know if they're still in stock, but mm, look at all this merch that you can totally see. Just pretend I'm putting it on screen, but you can actually click the link in the description or, or, you know, look right here to actually see it. But just look at, wow, look at all that merch. Man, oh my God. I mean, we just got this freaking thing started, but Swerve was on top of Riddle, and, but no, the CWO was just completely taking over this thing. Swerve is unbelievable. Look at the reversing ability on Swerve, but Riddle still, it's, it's again, it's insane how much Swerve is able to do when he gets an opportunity. Oh my God, but. I'm sorry, Riddle, I mean, whatever. Now we saw Swerve versus Owens. We saw Riddle versus Ziggler. We have not seen you know, the alternatives. We're seeing that right now. I like it. I like the, the oh my God. That is, that was the most brutal spear. I've ever seen in my entire life. Owen's taking the freaking, the announce table off. Listen, we already know how insane this thing can get. Oh my God. The CWO is, is, is absolutely insane. Uh oh, huge miss there from Riddle. Swerve doesn't make, it can't take advantage. That's very, very, very unfortunate. Swerve up to his feet once again. He really needs to do something here to Riddle. Because this is getting bad, folks. This is getting bad for the swerve-offs. Riddle. Oh, my God. Getting getting beat up here by, by Owens. But why would you leave the swerve-offs in the ring alone? What a dumb move by Riddle. Cover. That, that, I mean, there's no way that's it. Owens is too distracted here with a senton and a kick out at one. Oh my god, uh-oh, uh-oh, we got freaking, we got the Swerve Offs alone in the ring with Kevin Owens. Riddle rolled out, he had to recover, this could be really bad here. This could be bad. Swerve locks up, and oh my god, takes Owens, spins him around some, good lord. Isaiah Swerve Scott is incredible. Look at this. Even when he gets freaking the work put. No chance. Oh, my God. Owens goes off the announce table. And Swerve has a steel chair in hand. Good Lord. Polarizing Kevin Owens with that steel chair there. My God. Owens finally able to take advantage, grabbing the chair out of, his, out of the hand. And we are all around this, uh, this ring right now. This is insane. Owen's getting back in. Swerve going to have to follow him. He doesn't have to, but he's going to. Oh, my God. Isaiah Swerve Scott. Riddle's got to be careful. Here, his partner is actually genuinely in some serious trouble here. Ziggler back up on his feet, though. 
Oh my god, I don't know what Swerve was going for, but Owens. Off the ropes. Let's see what Ziggler and Riddle are doing. These Extreme Rules tag team matches are in, always insane. Owens went up the top rope, but Ziggler is, is throwing Riddle around here. And he's going for a weapon. Swerve is down. Owens elbow drop. Oh! Uh-oh. Riddle getting beat up with that, that baseball bat, but Ziggler, your partner's getting submitted here. You got to save your partner. Z oh, my God. Swerve gets out of it. and Oh, my God. Just the double team on Owens continues. Super kick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Swerve distracting Riddle by literally just walking all around the ring here. Oh, this is ridiculous. Super kick. He got it in the cover. Can Riddle break the cover up? No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Team champions. I feel like I'm smoking doinks or something here, dude. Oh my god! The Swarm Officer Champions. Whoa! That match was insane. Oh my god. Well, can another CWO member potentially lose their championship? It's the women's championship triple threat up next. I I can't believe what we've just seen. The CWO just lost the tag team championships. What happens now? Where do we go from here? Ah. Oh. The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the WWE Women's Championship. I I mean, we are about to see a triple threat match here. So Charlotte actually was supposed to fight Bailey one on one until she got beat by Sasha Banks a couple weeks ago. This is now turning into a triple threat match. Sasha Banks really wanted to get in this women's championship picture. In a way, she earned it, but not really. I mean, I don't know. Bailey attacking Bailey really kind of solidified her position in this matchup because if it wasn't for that Bailey really wouldn't have come out and attacked Sasha after that match with Charlotte I still I'm still I'm sorry I still can't get over what we just saw um wow Oh my god. Um, I said that I said at the same time that Charlotte took a robe off. That wasn't me talking about her breasts. It wasn't. That wasn't the case. I was just like, oh my god, like, you know, like, I can't believe what I, what's going on. You, you get what I'm saying? Alright. Shut up. She got some big old titties, though. I can't even wait. Here comes the boss. And introducing the challengers from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. We are freaking neck deep into this show. We have passed the halfway point. We got this match, the hardcore title match, and the WWE Championship match. And then we're, we're calling it a day, folks. This is going to be very, very good, though. I'm very excited for this triple threat. Sasha Banks has not touched gold in a long time. This could be a huge moment for her if she can do that. She's going to have to go through freaking a bunch of women. 
I wish I went through a bunch of women. Ignore me. Ignore me. There's only four women in this world that have my heart. My girlfriend, of course. Dua Lipa, that's the most important one. Liv Morgan and Gigi Dolan. Anyone else? Hit the hit the bricks. You know what I'm saying? Hit the hit the bricks. And introducing the champion, representing the NWO from San Jose, California. She is the WWE Women's Champion. Bailey. Oh boy. Bailey, the women's champion. This is her first women's championship defense. This could be a very big deal. It is either going to be Bailey getting, you know, unfairly, I guess, taken out of being the women's champion, or we're going to see her, how dominant she really is. But how confident can she be? She just saw two of her, all the, her two of her three partners, just lose their championships. Only two people in the CW are holding titles anymore, man. Oh boy. This is it. This is this is where uh, the big boys come to play, dog. The big guns. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. And what? No interaction with Bailey from the start of this match. We kick things off with Sasha Banks hitting a three amigos on Charlotte. What? What? Why though? I mean, like, yeah, like, sure, but like, but like, why though? Bailey. Oh my god, and on Bailey as well. What is going on? Okay. Sasha with three amigos on Bailey. This is uh not where I thought this would be going. <laughs> Sasha is still on this though. Sasha's the only one that's done a move this whole match. Bruh. Yo! Sasha threw Bailey out of the ring. Oh, she knows she's the bigger threat. I think Sasha knows she beat Charlotte. So she's going to keep on Charlotte. That is honestly genius. And Charlotte finally going to freaking... That's the first move anyone except Sasha Banks has hit. But she's still in this thing. Look at this. We need to freaking get Sasha the hell out of here. Oh, my God. Oh, Bailey throwing Charlotte in the corner with Sasha. And this is why she's the women's champion, folks. Oh, my Lord. Taking both these women down. And now assaulting both of them. Going back and... Oh, not going back and forth. I was mistaken. Bailey just... Uh, why is everyone hating on Charlotte, dude? The racism. Bailey throwing Charlotte, throwing Sasha to the ropes. And doesn't get anything back. Oh, my God. Right hands. Flowing. I still can't believe this, folks. Again, this is Bailey's first women's championship defense. She's really got to kind of step her game up here. If she wants to retain the championship, I mean, we just saw Kevin Owens and Matt Riddle lose. I never thought we'd see them lose ever. Bailey, Charlotte, honestly, I listen. Charlotte has done nothing. This whole, oh my God, this whole match, she's done nothing. I mean, poor Charlotte, I guess, but geez, she's got to recover and just think about what she's done. Because, I mean, my... Uh-oh. I guess not. I mean, it's, it was Sasha in the beginning. Now, oh, Charlotte. Charlotte, bud. What are you doing, Charlotte? <laughs> this is embarrassing for Charlotte Flair, man. It really is. I think Bailey was trying to go for a freaking... Bailey to belly, but Sasha recovers with a neck breaker. This could be huge. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. It's Charlotte alone. The Charlotte still has not rolled out. But this could be where the tide turns. Maybe. I don't know. Bailey on the outside recovering. She's getting up to her feet. 
And she doesn't again. She doesn't have to be pinned or submitted to lose the women's championship. Oh my God! And Sasha once again getting cut off by Bailey into a German suplex. Another one for Charlotte Flair. Oh, this is bad. This is bad for uh oh. On the top row, on the middle rope, Bailey up to her feet, and oh my God! An arm drag from the middle effing rope. Sasha recovers somehow. Oh my god, what was Sasha going for there? I don't know. Bailey, hold on. Rose plant. Is that it? I mean, Charlotte's got to get up. Oh my god. Sasha kicking out, but man. Oh, turns it to Charlotte. Yeah, uh, that might be it right there because Charlotte has been sucking ween this whole match. Oh, no, she reversed. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Charlotte reversed. No chance. DDT on Sasha. What are you doing, Bailey? This is the middle of a freaking what you're of your championship defense. What are you smoking? What are you smoking here? Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god, Bailey rolls out. Charlotte, we know she reversed the rose plant. Oh my god, and Sasha gets out. Oh wow. I can't believe that. Suplex to Charlotte. Sasha Banks is on fire here, dude. Dropping the queen down. She continues to try to get up to her feet to no avail, to be honest. Oh, Sasha go trying to try to end it here. And Bailey's gonna cut her off. My god. What is going on? Bailey. Uh, what the hell was that? Oh my god, knee right to the face of Bailey. Doesn't even focus on Charlotte. She's just trying to take the women's champion out so she can focus more on Charlotte. In a way, it's genius. Oh, my God. But, I mean, I don't know what Banks is thinking here. Bailey's right there to break it up. That was not a smart idea at all. Sasha's still fighting in this thing, though. She's still, she's still got a lot in the tank. Charlotte's down, though. I mean, this could be bad for... Oh, my God. Oh, goes for another neck breaker. And Bailey with a huge reversal. Sends Sasha out of the ring. Uh-oh. This could be big. This could be big for Bailey. We know Sasha's the target right now. Oh my, oh my god. Big boot to Bailey. Oh. I, I, can you imagine the comeback that that would have been? Wow. Charlotte suplexing Sasha and she rolls out. Oh my god. There is no way. There is no way. Out of all people, Charlotte's going to win this match. Natural selection. You're kidding. Oh. Oh, my God. Charlotte calling for Bailey to get up. Oh, she's too far, I guess. I don't know what the hell that was. I can't believe this. Charlotte turning her attention to Banks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Charlotte returning the favor that Bailey gave to her earlier. This is a huge deal right now, folks. This is a huge deal. Bailey with a German suplex on Sasha. Charlotte taunting in the corner there. Sasha's already rolled out in, like, you know, very recently. I don't know how smart that was. Throwing Charlotte out of the freaking ring, but she didn't get her off the apron. That, that was not a very smart idea at all, actually. Bailey looking for another Rose plan here. She gets it, but why would you even go for the cover? Charlotte is right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was wondering. I was waiting for her to, to show up, and she, she showed up. Oh, my God. Sasha is the target now. It's, it's, it's Sasha getting beat on here. Bailey taunting. 
Sasha getting up to her feet. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of playing around in this match. Oh, my God. Sasha's not playing anymore. She throws Charlotte down. This could be insane. This could be insane. Banks with Bailey out of the ring. Why would you do that? What a fumble that was. This is a great match. All the matches tonight have been insane. We got to get back in the ring. I think Bailey's going to get her back in here eventually. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Charlotte's still recovering on the other side of the ring here. But Bailey is spending this time inflicting as much damage, damage on Sasha Banks as possible. Charlotte up on her feet, and we're going we're gonna to go around the ring now, I guess. Sheesh. Sasha throwing Bailey into the ring, and Charlotte meeting her throws Sasha back in the ring. What are we saying here, folks? What are we doing? Oh, my God. A huge elbow from Charlotte. Neck breaker from... Oh, my God. Back and forth reversals here from Flair and Banks. Oh, my God. Just reversal after reversal here. You're kidding. Oh, my God. Sasha goes down and eats a clothesline. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bailey's rolled out. This could be bad for Bailey for Bailey's women's championship run. If if Charlotte can do this, oh my god. No, Sasha tried to go for a possum. She didn't get it. Charlotte reversed. Holy crap. Charlotte took way too long there. She took way too long. Bailey's still down, though, on the outside. Bailey up to her feet. Oh, my God. And, and Charlotte with a possum of her own here. Rolling banks into the... Bailey, what are you doing? Oh, my God. These people are idiots. I can't believe what I'm seeing, folks. We're in the middle of a women's championship match and you're taunting. No chance. Charlotte reversing the double team. Holy hell. All right. Well. My God. And <laughs> Sasha gets Bailey off of her and continues the assault. No chance. No chance. Charlotte. Natural selection to Sasha Banks. Goes into the cover and Bailey's right there again to break it up. This is an insane triple threat match. I can't even lie. I'm very much liking this matchup. Bailey trying to end it, I think. Maybe not. Uh oh. Charlotte gets to the end of the corner. What is she thinking? Sasha is is get gets up. Uh oh. Cover. And Sasha breaks it up now. We are at a freaking stalemate between all three of these women. Bailey gets hit with whatever. I don't know what that was. She gets dragged. Charlotte's getting up herself. Dude. Oh, my God. Wait. Bailey's rolling out again. Bailey's rolling out again. We saw this with, with uh, freaking Morgan, I think, earlier. Yeah. Oh, my God. But can Sasha take advantage? Bailey has rolled out of the whole ring. Oh my God! And Charlotte with another roll-up. Could this be it for Charlotte? Oh no! Dude! Dude! Are you kidding me? Charlotte has just freaking won the women's championship. Ha! Ah, another CWM member loses. Dude. Dude. We got a freaking hardcore championship match up next. I don't know what to say. Oh my god, who's gonna answer the challenge for the hardcore championship? What a night this has been. I don't understand how it could get any crazier. The hardcore championship. No way!
way! Oh my god! You're smoking crack! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin is in the building! Oh my god! We have not seen Austin in years! Since like 2K16! Steve Austin was in World of Walk Entertainment in the very beginning! We haven't seen him in years! Look, he's back! Are you smoking doinks? What is going on? Holy crap! Stone, this is like a fever dream. Stone Cold Steve Austin is about to fight for the Hardcore Championship. Are you kidding me? What's in the air today? It's gotta be crack. I don't like it's. It's, it's gotta be crack. Every title has changed hands tonight so far. This is the second to last title match. Holy crap, if that's, if that, I mean, oh, we're going to see. Dude. Randy Orton, the hardcore champion. My God. He has been very, very aggressive lately. He only won the hardcore championship this past Monday. Man, I smack my balls, dog. Like, this is insane. Smack my balls, dog. My balls. I can't. <laughs> I can't do this, man. I really, this is insane. What a show this has been. The, the freaking, freaking, The Rock is the Intercontinental Champion. John Cena is Mr. Money in the Bank. Liv Morgan just showed that you could just attack anybody you want and still win the swerve offs are the tag team champions charlotte freaking flair finally wins the women's championship holy my god what are we saying it's not even done. We still have our main event up next. It's Walter versus AJ Styles. Walter has already beaten Riddle and Kevin Owens. He just has one more member of the CWO to beat, and that's for the WWE Championship. But so cool, Steve Austin might win the Hardcore Championship right now. Ah! Uh. Introducing the challenger from Victoria, Texas. Weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin! I am... Uh, oh. And introducing the champion from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the hardcore champion, the Viper, Randy! Listen, bro, this is going to be insane. This is the, the last freaking hardcore championship match of the night. I mean, hoopity hoop freaking blah, dog. I'm, I, I'm, I'm shaking in my boots. Oh, my God. I am ready. Austin is back after so long. Here we go. And Orton immediately. <laughs> oh no, Austin gets out. I was going to say if Orton does the first move, that would be kind of ass. Oh my, Austin unloading with the right hands on Randy Orton. Good lord. Austin is going nuts. Oh my, but Orton with the reversal. You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. And Orton going to continue the assault going around. Oh, I didn't even know you could reverse that. What the hell? Austin doing things I, I don't know you can freaking do. And we got <laughs> the stomping continues. Austin, the whole offense has just been punches and stops this whole match. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. 
and Orton trying to keep them down. Trying to keep Austin down. Good lord, no! More, more punches. Or forearms, I guess. Oh, and a loot that's press from Orton. How about some strikes of your own there? Stone Cold, jeez. Austin has only done punches and stomps this whole match. It's been nothing but strikes, and Orton, you know Orton's furious. You know Orton is, is angry that he had to go against this guy tonight. Oh, my God. Oh, look at this. Orton is freaking... He's doing the same thing over and over again, Austin. You can't predict it by now? Like, jeez. I'm not going to lie. If Randy Orton wins, he'll become the biggest heel in all of professional wrestling. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, well, Austin got up. Oh, what a bulldog. It was something different, finally. The hell? Oh, that's right. It's a freaking hardcore championship match. What was I smoking? Definitely doinks. Dude. I can't believe. What, oh, boy. How many times are we going to see a freaking baseball bat tonight? This is the, this is the third match tonight. Has it? No. The second match tonight. What am I talking about? Okay. Austin back up on his feet. Atomic drop. Orton really has done a lot of damage to Austin, especially to the arms. I don't really know what else you could do. Orton going in there with the bat. Oh, that was a dumb idea. Austin takes advantage. Oh, when he gets him into a suplex. Orton's back up on his feet before Austin is, though. Oh, what a dodge. And Orton with a neck breaker of his own. Man. Orton's so methodical. Knows exactly what it takes to win these types of matches. Austin might be hurt. Austin honestly might seriously be hurt. Oh, my God. I think he tried to go for that upper RKO. But, jeez. Oh, no. We don't see it yet. But not yet, dude. Oh. Come on now. Orton with Austin up and a drop kick. And, uh-oh. This is a very competitive match. I thought we were going to see it, folks. I Oh, uh-oh. 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 There's blood. There's blood. What the hell? Stone Cold going to the top rope. I beg your freaking pardon. Are you kidding? Randy Orton up on his feet here. Austin. Oh, my God. What the hell was that? Oh, my God. Are we going to see it? Are we going to see it? Stutter. The cover on Randy Orton. Oh. Kick out from the Viper. Orton's a tough cookie, man. He really is. You got to give it to him. Oh, my God. Orton not letting Austin hoist him up on the shoulders. And that baseball bat comes back into play. Orton furious, trying to take out the legs of Stone Cold. Orton said freaking no more stunners. Hell no. Exploder suplex from the Viper. The Apex Predator dog. He's the hardcore champion for a reason. Randy Orton is, is absolutely vicious. He is insane. He's got to pull something big out of the bag here. I think I know what he's... No, not, not yet. What the hell? Well, Austin goes into the corner. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Uh, Randy Orton... On the top rope with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Or the middle rope, I guess. But Austin's on the top rope. RKO! Jesus Christ. That sucked the wind out of the building. The color on Austin. One, two, three, yeah. Wow. That sucked the wind out of the building. Jeez. That sucked everything out of everything. Jesus Christ. Uh, wow.
Randy Orton has, has ended the streak of every championship changing hands. Crowd couldn't believe that. I can't believe it. Randy Orton with still the hardcore champion. I I personally can't believe that. Um we we got one more match. It's the W Championship match. I am going to nut Venom. This could be this could change everything. Cuz listen, the tag team championships and the women's championship they don't main event the shows, at least not the pay-per-views. Uh, man. <laughs> I mean, listen, Walter is heading into battle with the WWE Champion AJ Styles, somebody that has not lost that freaking championship since October 21st. Man, oh man. I mean, freaking Walter to get this opportunity. He was well, he's been the target of everybody for for months. Everyone wants to take out Walter in these matches. And it works, to be honest. In these multi-man matches, it works. But Walter is not letting it get to him. He is 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 really really improved himself over the last month he's beaten riddle beaten kevin owens this could be it guys this could be the end of the cwo as we know it all, the, the CW, there's one member of the CWO that has a championship, and that is only because he is currently the champion heading into this matchup. Whoo! AJ Styles, the WWE champion. Let's not count him out, dude. We have talked about Matt Riddle and Kevin Owens losing the tag team championships. We talked about Bayley losing the women's championship. I mean, listen. AJ Styles is, is a beast. Let me tell you the people he's beaten to retain this freaking championship. Since October. October 21st. Um... Brock Lesnar. Then it was a Survivor Series match. Lesnar, Orton, Bryan, and Reigns. Then it was The Rock. Then it was John Cena. I think Adam Cole was in there as well. Um, then it was Kenny Omega. And then it was, why am I not thinking straight? Finn Balor, and then Reigns, and then Shinsuke Nakamura, right? And then, no. And then Cena and Rollins together. I know things. From Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Volta! And introducing the champion from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, the Phenomenal AJ Styles! I have hemorrhoids, and if you do too, 
then, I mean, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? We, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is it folks the main event of SummerSlam Walter versus AJ Styles oh my god and a neck breaker immediately Walter gets up to his feet and oh Styles cuts him off with a German suplex and that is why he is the WWE champion Walter with a chopped right to the chest of Styles though how is he up on his feet just doing stuff after all of that offense Oh my god. Walter's an animal, dude. Walter's a beast. Hooks both arms here for this suplex and Styles reverses, gets out of the way. This is like a final boss for Walter almost. Styles off the ropes. Can Walter find it himself to reverse this? No. He can't get it. But Walter swooping the leg back and forth here, honestly, between these guys. Walter really had such an amazing match, uh, what was it, last, or two weeks ago against Kevin Owens. We've seen the resilience of, of Walter. We've seen what he can do here. Oh, my God. We got a freaking burning hammer in this match, and Walter's still on his feet. What are we saying? Bruh. Styles up on his feet now, taking Walter here. This is the most back and forth match I've seen in a while, but Styles. Oh my god! No man really has the better of the other just yet. Styles really tried to turn the aggression up. And oh my god, turn the volume up in these matches, in this matchup. And he has not been able to do so yet against the bigger man, Walter. Oh my lord! Walter is taking Styles to freaking school right now, dude. AJ needs to take advantage. Walter with a block. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I can't believe what we're seeing right now, folks. I can't believe what we're seeing right now. We are seeing the fall of the CWO right before our very eyes. I didn't think it'd be all in the same night. I knew it would happen eventually. Who would have freaking guessed it would have been all in the same night? I don't know. Though. Oh, my God. Another burning hammer. I'm not counting AJ Styles out yet. AJ Styles has been the best WWE champion in World Walk Entertainment history. He has been champion for nine months. Over nine months. Is this his time? Has the time come? For not only him, but all of the CWO. I don't know the answer to that question, folks. I don't know the answer to that. Walter says yes. Oh, my God. Look at the way he's beating on this guy's freaking chest, dude. Good Lord. And Styles goes crashing down to the outside. Styles has not shied away from trying to take count out victories in the past. He's done so before. It didn't work out for him, but he's tried it. He has tried, he's tried doing that before. Styles saying, get back in this effing ring before I come get you. Three. Walter going to oblige. You know Walter's not afraid of AJ Styles. Only question is, was there enough time for Styles to recover? Oh, I think so. I think so. Styles. That's going to be an immediate rope break. Not a very smart idea from the WWE Champion, but he's still... Oh, my God, keeping the pressure up. And this is exactly what he needs to do to beat somebody like Walter into the cover. And Walter kicks out at one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Styles trying his best to keep Walter down here. What can he possibly do? Oh, my God. Walter is insane. Knee to the face of Styles. We have not seen a big move yet from either of these guys. And Walter throwing Styles across the ring. This is for the WWE. No. Oh, my God. Walter. Walter gets the first shot off with that power bomb. Walter picks AJ Styles up immediately. Goes in for more. 
You've got to be kidding me. Walter wasted no time. Triple power bombs. Are we going to see a new WWE champion? Oh! My body can't take much more. My body can't take much more of this. My body cannot take much more of this, folks. Walter tried blocking. He couldn't block forever. Styles still on the attack here on Walter. Walter gets sent into the corner, and Styles continuing the assault. What the hell is going on? Walter is down. Styles doesn't know what to do. He almost just lost the WWE title. Styles needs to do something massive here. What can he whip out of the bag? I have not seen him hit a, a single... I'll still know. This might be it. This might be time, folks. Styles calling for Walter to get up to his feet. Can AJ Styles get this move off? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Walter with a cover off of the German suplex. And Styles kicking out. Walter reversed the phenomenal forearm. And my... My, oh, my. Styles still trying to make it up to his feet and just gets cut off at every possible point by Walter. Styles needs to do something huge. He, he, he's not, oh man, this is not good for AJ. Styles needs to do something massive here. I mean, that's something, I guess. Styles on the outside of the ring. That, Walter's a little far there. Styles second guessing himself. He's either going for the 450 or the phenomenal forearm. Yeah, St Walter way too far. What? Is Styles still going to go for it? No, he's not. What the hell is going on? What the hell? Styles reversing, sending Walter down. He's got something in the tank, but what is he trying to go for? Oh my God. Walter back up on his feet. More chops. And a Uranagi from the challenger. This is insane. Walter Dragon Styles to the ropes now. What is this? Oh my god, just a just a methodical be I have not questioned for a second whether or not Walter is going to be able to continue this match, but I'm worried for AJ Styles. It seems like no matter what he does, Walter just does not stay down. There has been no big moves hit on Walter at all. No phenomenal forearms, no 450 splashes, no calf crushers, no Styles clashes. It's just strikes, and Walter's been getting up every single time. There's no, there's no keeping him down. Oh my god, Walter's bleeding. Walter's been busted open. Hold on a second, folks. Walter's been busted open. AJ is not letting up. What? Walter just said to hell with that and just. Oh my god. Oh my god. AJ Styles locked in that stretch. Can you imagine if the WWE champion taps out? No, not yet. Oh my god, the integrity was blocked. And Walter, you've got to be smoking crack. Walter! Triple power bombs! The cover! We have a new WWE! Oh my god! I didn't think it would happen in one night. I thought it would be a slow burn over time. Oh my God. We have a new WWE champion. Walter's first championship in World Walk Entertainment is the WWE title. Oh 
my god! I, I, what are we looking at right now? What is this sight that we're seeing? I need a freaking water break. We'll see. My water just broke. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh my god.